Hi everyone, thanks for watching today's video. Today I'm going to talk about what symptoms one might get if they have gallstones. These are not the complications of gallstones that I will discuss hopefully in my next video. Vast majority of gallstones cause either no symptoms or very minor symptoms. And the minor symptoms might include a bit of abdominal bloating. It might in include that the patients burp a lot mild discomfort in the upper part of the tummy and these are called sleeping gallstones and these stones should be left well alone. They are sometimes picked up on routine scanning like if I had a scan done to look at my liver, to look at my kidneys or something else in my tummy and the radiologist might pick up some gallstones which have not caused me any trouble. However, the commonest symptom of gallstone that patients can get is pain and this is what we are going to discuss further. So to understand where the pain is for the gallbladder it is important to know where actually the gallbladder is in our tummy. So I have drawn the body of a patient over here. So that is the left nipple, that is the right nipple, that is the rib cage on the right side which we can feel on our tummy. This is the rib cage on our left side, that is the umbilicus or the belly button. This red structure I've drawn with lines across is the liver and liver as you know from my one of my previous videos sits underneath the right side of our rib cage. So under, under normal circumstances we cannot feel our liver. It is tucked underneath the rib cage and rib cage protects our liver from any injury, trauma, etc. etc. And this green thing is our gallbladder and it is sitting just tucked in under the right side of our rib cage from the end of the rib cage to our breastbone so somewhere in the middle which is around the ninth rib so this is where the gallbladder usually sits so any pain that happens with the gallbladder or the gallstones it happens on the right side of the tummy just underneath the rib cage so this is the part where the patient will complain of the pain or sometime in this area very very occasionally on the left side but only very uncommonly. The commonest place is on the right side just underneath the ribcage. So this is the spot where the pain is and typically gallbladder pain from this part of the tummy goes straight through, straight through to the back and the patient complains of pain between the shoulder blades as well. First variety of pain is called biliary colic. Colic means gripey pain. Biliary means coming from the bile ducts or anything to do with the liver. So in this case, the gallbladder. Now, classically biliary colic is a severe pain which occurs on this side of the tummy, on the right side of the tummy, just underneath the rib cage at the level of the ninth rib. It goes through to the back between the shoulder blades of the patient. It is severe in intensity, so much so that if ladies, when they get the pain, they quite frequently say that they rather have labor pains than to have gall, gallstone pain. It is such a severe pain. It is most commonly produced by eating fatty food or very rich diet, and it lasts for about 24 hours or less. The pain is so severe that the most patients will perhaps require hospitalization or at least going to the hospital to get some strong painkillers like morphine or something like that. Because ordinary painkillers like paracetamol or ibuprofen, which we get over the counter, do not control this pain. Now, I'm going to discuss in my next video when I talk about complications of gallstone that what causes biliary colic. So please ignore that for the time being i'm not going to discuss it in this video that why it happens but do remember classically this lasts only for 24 hours or less and as quickly as it comes as quickly as it disappears and the patient after that is totally pain free until the ne next attack happens maybe in a few days or a week or two or sometime never the next type of pain that patients can get from Gallstones is called acute cholecystitis. This is a surgical emergency and vast majority of these patients will 
require hospitalization and antibiotic treatment. The difference between acute cholecystitis and biliary colic, which I'm again going to discuss in my next video, the causes of this, is that in acute cholecystitis, there is infection of the gallbladder. In biliary colic, there was no infection of the gallbladder. That is why the pain disappears within 24 hours. In acute cholecystitis, the pain again is on the right side of the tummy, under the rib cage, goes th straight through to the back. Very, very bad, perhaps not as severe as biliary colic, but still quite bad. But it does not settle down in 24 hours because at this stage, the gallbladder is inflamed and infected. As a result, the pain will last until the infection is treated. Either the body itself takes care of the infection or the patient gets antibiotics in the hospital, either intravenously or orally. And that will take a few days for the pain to improve. Because this is an infection of the gallbladder, the patient also have other symptoms of infection, like they will have a fever, they will be shivering, uh, they will be feeling very unwell, uh, they will look pale, clammy. They also have other symptoms of uh, infection like their blood counts uh, might have a very raised white blood cell count crp etc etc so that is the main difference between acute cholecystitis and biliary colic when these patients are examined in biliary colic if the doctor touches the tummy usually the tummy is not very sore but in the case of acute cholecystitis, when the doctor touches this part of the tummy under the rib cage and asks the patient to take a deep breath, when they take a deep breath, the lungs above the liver, they expand and they push the liver down. When the liver comes down, the gallbladder comes down. And when they're touching the tummy on this side, examining the patient, the tip of the fingers hit the gallbladder. So the gallbladder hits the tips of the finger because it's being pushed down by a deep breath. And because in acute cholecystitis, the gallbladder is inflamed, when it touches the tips of the fingers, it hurts the patient and patient catches their breath and they can't take a deep breath in. This is called Murphy's sign. And this is a very classical sign for the diagnosis of acute cholecystitis. How are these conditions diagnosed? Very simple investigation to diagnose these conditions, biliary colic and acute cholecystitis. Obviously blood tests are done, but the simplest scan done is ultrasound scan. An ultrasound scan will show whether the gallbladder is inflamed or not inflamed. Obviously both biliary colic and acute cholecystitis will have gallstones, but in acute cholecystitis, the gallbladder will look swollen, will have fluid around it, will have signs of infection and very, very thick wall because it is infected. Whereas in biliary colic, it will not look inflamed. Other scan that can be done like CT scan or MRI can also differentiate between biliary colic and acute cholecystitis. So these are the main symptoms that patients get from gallstones. I hope you found this video informative and if you did then please do remember to subscribe it helps promote our videos thank you for watching and i'll see you very soon